Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks and tonight's video is about moving your toolbars around. And this was the video was kind of sparked by somebody said that they used to be able to move their tools from their toolbar onto their page. And it does make things nice if you're working a lot and you're using these two tools, the pick tool and the lasso pick tool. You don't have to go to the fly out. They're both there. So if you want the pick tool, well, let's draw something here. If you want the pick tool, instead of going up here to the fly out and hit the freehand pick tool, and then you want to go back to the pick tool, they're just right there. You don't have to go to the fly out. Uh, same thing if you want a, a freehand line or a two point line, or if you want to, instead of going up here to the crop and getting your virtual segment delete key, but this person that emailed me said that she couldn't move them off the screen like she used to. And to move these are real easy. Let's get the rectangle fly out. And I don't know if you can see that on the video, but there's a bunch of dotted lines. If you just grab that dotted line, it'll bring it out. And then you can actually grab on this side and go downward and reshape it to make whatever size you want. Now, the good thing with doing this, because you haven't heard anything, it's still there. So when you get ready to get rid of these, you can just X them out. You can literally move the whole toolbar, and then they'd be right there if that's a good look. And I don't really see the reason for it, but anytime if you want to just get it back, just double click on the top of it. But... The reason she can't do this is because she's got her toolbars locked. So at any point, just go up here anywhere in the menu area, tool area, and right click. And right here it says lock toolbars. And it was checked. So now let's go to rectangle tool and that, that line is gone. We can't pull it out anymore. So that's the difference. So just right click, uncheck lock toolbars, and there's your movement skew. And it is pretty neat. You can, uh, you know, if you're drawing a lot and you go keep going back and forth, I'm trying to change the size, uh, back and forth between, which, uh, which I do a lot. Uh, and sometimes I, I forget that you can move these things out and make life a little easier. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.